So welcome back or welcome to this particular lesson. And uh, we are going to start our lesson today. We are going to start our lesson today. And I'm going to start by sharing my screen. I hope everybody can see my screen. I hope everyone can see my screen. We start by asking who Chatuism to Moja Ngoya, Maxwell, can you see my screen? I can see. Thank you. Now to our Nangi Vizuri, Jan Watafute. Wafula Wabuire, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see it. Thank you. Now let's start our class and we'll start by asking ourselves what is communication? We start by asking ourselves what is communication. Now this is how your notes look like, eh? which I'm going to unleash. The, I'm going to unleash your notes once we are done with this particular lesson. So we start with introduction to communication skills, and you're going to realize that communication is part of our daily lives. Communication is part of our daily lives, just like we breathe, just like you wake up early in the morning, and you can breathe the whole day. Sometimes you breathe and you, you, you don't even know that you're breathing. You breathe unknowingly. Unless somebody tells you breathe in, that's when you realize, I yeah, in a breathe. Eh? Just like breathing, communication is part of our daily lives. In fact, when you talk about breathing, you realize that sometimes you don't even know that you're breathing, but you are living. But the same case with communication. Sometimes you communicate and you don't know whether you are communicating. Somebody has switched on his microphone. Imagine 20 people like you who are disturbing the class. Tutashinda to the same, same place. The same, same spot. Eh? So communication, just like breathing, sometimes we breathe and we don't even realize that we are breathing. Eh? The same case happens to communication, that sometimes we communicate and we don't know. Hmm? Like when you sleep the whole day, there is communication. You are communicating to us that, number one, you might be a very lazy person. Number two, either you are very tired. Three, either you are sick. Four, either you like sleeping. So communication is a part of our daily lives. Eh? Just like breathing, the way you dress, the way you walk. Maybe you are a very confident person, but the way you walk, you walk like a very, like somebody who has, I, I don't know, eh? Somebody who is not confident, somebody who has lost life, uh, hope, and something of the uh, such kind of things. Eh? So communication is part of our daily lives, just like breathing. So we communicate knowingly and unknowingly. When I text you a message and you don't respond, by not responding, you have already communicated. By not responding, you have already communicated. So communication is part of our, our daily lives. And we use communication to express ourselves. How? Maybe for example, you want to tell us how you feel about a certain lady or a certain lecturer. Just know that you're expressing yourselves about what? About that particular lecturer. So we use it to express ourselves and to interact with others. When we have a a, a physical class, you find that you are interacting with others. How do you interact with others? Through communicating, through giving stories. Let's, uh, this is a very new class, eh? certificate. You have met a very new friend at Zitek University. You want to interact with them. You tell them which school are you. They tell you I was in Kobo, in Kobo uh, Primary School or in Kobo Secondary School, uh -huh. which were your favorite units, you start telling them, my favorite unit was, you start interacting in short, eh? 
So we use communication to interact and to express ourselves. And also people use communication to fulfill a variety of needs. For example, we use communication for persuasion. Now, when you talk about persuasion, this reminds me of what we call BBI, the Building Bridges Initiative. And the politician used persuasion to persuade people to support this document. Eh? Sometimes we also have people who work in organizations, people who are self-employed, and you persuade others to buy your products and services. So we use communication also to do what? To persuade others to do what? To buy our products, to buy our services, and also to influence relationship. We also use communication to inform, to share, and to discover and to uncover information. Like right now, we are in class. The teacher is teaching or the lecturer is teaching. He is telling you or he's giving you information for you to do what? To discover some things that you did not know. You have had people who have gone to town. Na wakakutana na watu ambao waliwakon. So anakuambia, ukiona jamaa, ama anakupea information. Anakuambia, if you go to town, if one day it happens to you that you meet a person telling you to do this and that, know that they are going to con you. You see, you are giving that person information and by so doing, the other person discovers something new from you. So sometimes we use communication to discover and uncover information. So it is therefore for you to possess what we call excellent communication skills, regardless whether you are an engineer, regardless whether you are an accountant or a journalist, all of us need to know or to have good communication skills. That's why when you look at this particular platform, you're going to realize that it is combined. It's a combined thing. All the certificates, CHTM, CJMS, uh, CIT, CPSM, CBM, all those students are in this particular class because we want you to have what? Essential professional skills that will help you do what? Be able to communicate be able to communicate verbally, be able to communicate non-verbally, and be able to communicate in a written format, written, eh? written wise, something like that. Eh? Some people don't know how to communicate. Like for example, when you're called for an interview, the way you are dressed, it speaks much about you. Umeva koti ni kama ni hanga, uliisikia ukona interview mahali fulani. So you went to your friend, you borrowed a suit, a friend who is bigger than you. Now, when you put in his suit, you look like a walking hammer. When you sit in the interview panel and they look at you, they look at you and they say, this is a disorganized person or this person uh, doesn't look like this job. This job does not fit this person. The way you walk, the way you talk to others, eh? the way you shrug your shoulders, the way maybe, for example, it's a physical class, somebody tells you get out of this class and you go banging the door. It communicates much about you. That's why it is very important that we look at communication skills. To yeah? discover communication skills. So communication skills, regardless whether you are an engineer, an accountant or a journalist is a must because you are communicating, even the way you sit, where you sit in the classroom. There are people who sit in front of, in front in a classroom. There are people who sit at the back. What does it mean when you sit at the back? It means number one, it might mean, number one, you, you are not comfortable in that class. It may mean, number two, you are not, uh, you don't, you think that you don't want to be close to the lecturer because you fear them or something like that. Eh? So where you sit even in class communicates much about you. When we are giving exams, you want to sit at the back and you are a, the kind of a student who sit in the in front. So kita kuka nyuma na 
kawaida classes zinapoendelea wewe ukaa mbele ni kumaanisha kwamba kuna mambo ambayo unataka kufanya huko nyuma something like that eh? so then we start by asking ourselves what is communication can somebody tell us what is communication Mweke Abigail. Can you tell us what a communication is? Abigail Mweke. Abigail, we are waiting. Kuna mtu wakona tabia mpaya hapa na picholea vitu wapa kwa screen. Mweke Abigail. Mweke is not there. Stacy Auma. Hey, what kind of a class is this? People don't want to speak. Eh? Even when you are called upon, you are given an opportunity for people to know you. Can somebody tell us what communication is before we proceed? I have given you a free will. Can I speak? Yes, Ndambuki. Is it Ndambuki or who is it? No, Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. Uh, to my perspective, perspective, I can say communication is the way someone express he, he uh, herself or himself mm. Mm, to others. Somebody else, thank you. You are Odiambo. I can see you are Diego Odiambo. Yes. Somebody else, Awaro Nyango. Ah. You want to speak to us? If that is not the case, then you switch off your microphone. Can I try? Uh -oh. Yes, uh, Gloria. Uh, communication is exchanging of information by speaking, writing or using uh, using some other media. Somebody else, let's have an, uh, the last person speak to us what communication Hello, is, sir. then we proceed. Uh, this is Hello. Wamboi Kevenji. Kenyanjui. Kenyanjui. Yeah, uh, go ahead, Kenyanjui. Communication is an activity where human beings get to share their. I've muted you, Kenyanjui. Unmute yourself kindly. We can't hear you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, I've said communication. Communication is a, a skill or activity where human beings get to express themselves through feelings, thoughts, and ideas by both verbal and non-verbal means. Thank you, Kenyanjui. Thank you for those who have tried. And for those who have not tried, there is always an opportunity. And this might be the, your first opportunity, by the way. Because you can see we are 58 people. Kabla mwalimu siku ingine tena akufikie, Itakuwa ni story ndefu. So let me start, uh, let me share my screen again. So when you talk about communication, uh, me, I will just co uh, define communication in a very simple way. Uh, maybe we can look, we can go through uh, what is written here, and then I uh, will tell you, I'll give you a, disc uh, a, uh, a definition, which is a very simple one. Eh? Communication is key. Just like we have said that it is very important to all human activities. And without the ability to communicate, you personally would not have the ability to interact. You will not have the ability to do what? Uh, to uncover or to discover information. You will not even have the ability to share your feelings. So communication is very key in human activities. You not even be able to give suggestions. Like I asked, can somebody define for us communication? Communication, and a few of you have defined it. If 
communication was not there, these people would not have been able to define the term communication. So communication is the key around which human life revolves. Eh? Everybody, communication, that is where human life revolves. It revolves around communication. So therefore, what is communication? Communication in simple terms, it is creating a common understanding between the sender and the receiver. Common understanding is what? Common understanding means that suppose a lecturer says next week, we are not going to have communication skills class. It should be the same, uh, then the student reacts this way by joining the class. It means that there was no common understanding because when it is there is common understanding, the receiver of the information or the listeners of the information will react according to the intention of the sender. Nikisema ya komba hakuna class, watu wote wa hawakuji class. It means that I communicated. But if they react negatively, then it means that that person did not communicate. So communication is the process of creating a common understanding between the receiver and the, between the sender and the receiver. So communication comes from the word, a Latin word, communis. I don't know that our notes talks about that. Let me check. It comes from a Latin word, communis, whereby when you talk about communis, communis simply means common, common. Let me check, let me, let me look for that uh, particular statement. If you can see it, uh, just tell me. It is around here. Eh? Let me find communists. Yeah, it is here. I have seen it. Eh? So you can see it comes from the Latin word communist. Communist means what? Communist means common or shared understanding. A shared understanding simply means that the way I am understanding it should be the way you are, understand, you are understanding it. If the way I'm understanding is totally different from the way you are understanding it, then there is no communication. So it comes from a Latin word, communis, which means common or shared meanings. So there are various scholars who are explaining about communication. There is what we call Shram. Shram is there. There is also uh, this guy called Hyperbells and Weaver is there. There is Baran 2004 is there. And you can read more about what is communication. So let's go to other things. We call them elements of communication. Let's look at elements of communication. So when you talk about elements of communication, elements of communication usually happens in the process of communication. Let's first of all go to the process of communication. Let me share to you process of communication. So we have two processes of communication. We have the sender, we have the message, and we have the receiver. Allow me to go to the internet to check on something else, another process, which is a bit simpler. Allow me, give me one minute to look at a process of communication by Shannon and Weaver. Eh? There is a scholar by the name Shannon and Weaver.
Now let me share my screen. I think I've gotten it from the internet. Shannon and Weaver. Shannon and Weaver. I hope everybody can see that. Shannon and Weaver, we can see there is the sender. This is the process of communication. The process of communication, you can see there is the sender, there is the encoder, there is the channel, there is the decoder, there is the receiver, there is noise, and there is feedback. This is a model by a scholar known as Shannon and Weaver. So Shannon and Weaver came up with this particular model. And they said that communication starts with the sender, then it goes to the encoder, then the channel, then the decoder, then the receiver, then there is feedback from the receiver to the sender. There is feedback from the receiver to the sender. And in between the sender and the receiver, there is what we call noise. So then uh, the, uh, the elements of communication is what we call the sender. We have the channel, we have the receiver, and we have the feedback. We also have noise as the elements of communication. So this is how communication happens. Number one, it starts with the sender. Who is the sender? The sender is a person who has an idea or who has or who initiates communication. That is the sender. The sender is a person who has got the information or who has an idea or who has the information that he needs to communicate to the receiver. So the sender can be an organization. The sender can be a person. The sender can be an institution. The sender can be anybody who has got the information that he needs to communicate. Once the, info, uh, the sender has the information, then this sender has to do what we call encode. Eh? To encode is to do what? To encode is to put his thoughts because information comes in the mind. So to encode is to put your thoughts into a language or into a symbol that can be understood by the receiver. Like I may have an idea and I put it in form of an emoji. Nimekutumia ka emoji. Kamepiga keys ambao ni love. That is what was in my mind. Or I write a billboard for you or a poster. Or I write a message, I text you a message. I'm putting my thoughts into a message or I'm putting my thoughts into an image or I'm putting my thoughts into, into anything that can be understood by the receiver. To encode is to put your thoughts into a message that can be understood by the receiver. So once you put that message, or once you put your thoughts into a message that can be understood by the receiver, then it passes through a channel. So what is a channel? A channel is a path through which the message passes. A channel is a path through which the message passes. And a channel can be a mobile phone, a channel can be a television, a channel can be a letter, a channel can be a magazine, a channel can be a book. A channel is a path through which the information is passing to get to the receiver. Once the receiver gets the message, he needs to decode. What is decoding? Decoding is reading the message, internalizing the message, reading the message and understanding it, putting it in your mind, and then you react on that particular message. So decoding is internalizing the message. Whether it is, a, is an image, whether it is written, whether it is a, what we call a voice, whether it is anything, you have to internalize it and then respond. So who is a receiver? A receiver is a person to whom the message is intended. A receiver is a person to whom the message is intended. What is decoding? Decoding is doing what we call internalizing the message. And then after internalizing the message, you give the feedback. Feedback, what is feedback? Feedback is a reaction of the receiver towards the sender's message. So feedback is a reaction of the receiver 
towards the sender's message. Like for example, you can receive a message from your friend. The reaction that you're going to give is what we call feedback. You might give feedback by keeping quiet. You can give feedback by writing back. Maybe somebody is telling you hi, then you respond by hi, who are you? Something like that. That is feedback. Or somebody tells you, send me 500 shillings, I'm feeling hungry. Then you send them 500. By sending the 500 shillings, you are reacting towards the sender's message. And that is feedback. By saying I don't have 500 shillings, I only have 50 shillings, that is feedback towards the sender's message. So feedback is a reaction towards the, feed, uh, the sender's message. Feedback can be delayed. Feedback can be delayed. Like for example, when you are looking for a job, you apply for a job in a certain organization. Of course, you'll be waiting for their feedback. Their feedback is not immediate, but they will take like two, three weeks or even a week or, three, or days before they respond to your application letter. Now we can say that they have given you feedback, but the feedback is not immediate. Feedback can be immediate. Like when you ask me a question right now, I will answer your question there and then. That is immediate feedback. So feedback can be immediate or delayed. Feedback can also be negative or positive. Hmm? Like when you call me at 12 a.m. at midnight, what do you think my reaction would be? The first reaction, the moment you start saying, my name is Lavino Diambo um, in your class certificate. Don't call me ever again at 12 midnight. Eh? So feedback can be negative or positive. When you apply for a job, the feedback might be negative or positive. They might tell you that come for interview, or they might tell you we are sorry, such a position does not exist in our organization. But once it exists, we will, you will be the first person we are going to do what? To, to, to inform. So then in this whole process of communication, there is what we call noise. So what is noise? Noise is anything that interferes with communication. Anything that interferes with communication is referred to as noise. Noise can be classified into various categories. Like for example, we have psychological noise. Psychological noise is what happens in your mind. Like right now we are in class. Somebody is thinking about, you are thinking about whether the, the rice that is in the house will be enough for supper. Huh? That is psychological noise. Huh? You are thinking about other things, but your minds are very far away. Huh? That is psychological noise. Secondly, we can have semantic noise. Semantic noise is the ones that comes with the way we pronounce things. Like all of us come from a certain tribe in Kenya. Some of us are Luos, others are Kikuyus, others are Luyas, others are Maasais, others are Kalenjin, others are Kambas, and so on and so forth. And we, there is the way we pronounce things. Like there was a time I boarded a matatu, a Nissan, not a matatu, eh, but a KBS. And there is these two ladies who, who, who boarded the matatu and they had kids. There were two Kamba women. Eh? So the kids rushed towards the back seat. They, they, they rushed towards the back seat. But these two people, these two ladies, wanted the, uh, the, the kids to come where they were or closer to where they were. And so they were threatening the kids. One lady said, Usiende uko kunandongi. You see, those are semantic noise. Like also, I remember when I was in high school, when I was doing chemistry, my lecturer, his name was Mr. Mibei. And he would tell us during, uh, you know, when you're talking about burns and burner, it burns with a blue flame, something like that. It burns with a blue flame. And he would say, it pants, it pants with a blue flame. 
it pans with a blue flame. Those are semantic noise. Huh? Or when you tell uh, a Kikuyu guy to say what? Fla, and then he say fra. Hmm? Fra, and a manisha, unga. Fla, and a semi fla, and a sema, fra. Something like that. Eh? Those are semantic noise. And they, I mean, those are semantic noise. And you might end up like uh, when you, I'm talking about chemistry, that lecturer, because as we thought flame, it, it pans with a blue, blue. We thought that is a new jargon seed <laughs> in high school. And you, you'd find that people have written blue flame. It pans, pants and panna. People would write pants and panna instead of bans and banna. And people thought that those were new jargons in high school. So those were semantic noise. Those were semantic noise. Apart from semantic noise, we have physic, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, what do you call the mechanical noise. Mechanical noise comes from the gadgets that we use mostly. Like if you want to communicate to someone through mobile phone, they may tell you atukuski, unasema nini, Huh? You are sounding like a piano. Sometimes you have heard people sounding like a piano or a musical instrument on WhatsApp, huh? on Facebook. Not, not on Facebook, but on Zoom. Those are what we call mechanical noise. Maybe your phone is not functioning well. Maybe the earpiece is, uh, is, uh, is spoiled and so on and so forth. Or maybe the mouthpiece is spoiled. Now, when you talk to someone, they can't hear you properly or what you are saying or something like that. Those are mechanical noise. And then we have physical noise. Physical noise is anything that interferes with communication. Like for example, maybe there is a building, a construction going on where you are. You can't hear or you can't concentrate with what you are doing. Those are physical noise. Or maybe there are people making noise around you. Those are uh, physical noise. Or maybe, for example, where you are seated, there is what we call bright light. Kuna mwangaza excess. When you're looking at your communication book, you cannot read properly. Those are physical noise. So noise are classified into various categories. We have said we have semantic noise, we have psychological noise, we have physical noise, and we have mechanical noise. And we have also said that feedback is and it, uh, is a reaction of the of the receiver towards the sender's message. Any question? So I stop sharing what I had Googled and we go back to our notes. So what are some of the elements of communication? I've already talked about elements of communication. So we go back to elements of communication. Number one, we have talked about um, we have talked about uh, elements of communication. We have talked about the sender, and we have defined who a sender is. Here to meongea kuhusu. We have talked about the message. No, we've not talked about the message. The message is the information that the sender has towards the receiver. Then we have talked about channel. We have said that channel is a path through which information passes. And we have said it can be a radio, it can be a television, it can be a newspaper, it can be a magazine, it can be a mobile phone, it can be, a, uh, it can be anything. It can even be a book, huh? or it can even be a billboard. Those are channels that were used. Then we have also talked about noise. And we have said that noise is any thing that interferes with communication. And we have classified noise as what? We have classified noise as a, as a physical noise. We have classified it as a mechanical noise, a semantic noise. You can see there is semantic noise there. And uh, also, uh, apart from semantic noise, we have also talked about uh, psychological noise. Psychological noise. Any co question up to that? Then we've talked about feedback, and we have said that feedback is a reaction.
towards the sender of the reaction of the receiver towards the sender's message and feedback can be immediate, it can be delayed, it can be negative or positive. Any question? Natalia, Kim, is there any question? Sir, sir. Yes. Will the notes be available after this? Uh, I said that uh, no, notes will always be provided every time we finish a class. So those notes will oh. be available for you. Oh, okay. Any question? Natalia, if you don't have a question, Natalia, just say hi. Hi. Uh, so I also hope that you're joining the group and also you're going to inform the others and provide the link to them. Any question? Uh, is context uh, one of the factors that affect communication the, uh, that are part of elements of communication? Yes, context is one. Context is an uh, element of communication. Sometimes we call it setting, the setting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it, does it affect the environment? The setting is the environment already. Okay. When you talk Thank about you. Uh, the setting, yeah. uh, the setting is where the communication occurs and it can okay. significantly influence communication. Like when you talk about a formal setting like an auditorium, it lends itself to a formal presentation. Like when you go to an auditorium, like when you get into a boardroom, it signifies that a boardroom signifies formal presentation, formal, formal things. You're not going to do things informally there. Talk sharing, like so, such, like, such things. How eh? tender kuongea sharing pare kwa boardroom. So setting is another mm -hmm. one. Eh? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Like, for example, again, when you talk about setting, a library, when you get to a library, it uses things like desk with partitions, those desks that has got partition eh, to enhance concentration and to reduce distractions. That's why when you get to a library, there are partitions. So setting is another element of communication. Yes, any other question? Yes, sir. Yes, Papula. What if I say what is I what if I say that encoding is also formulating? It's also what? Formulating your thoughts. Formulating your thoughts. Yes. Encoding. It's like formulating. Encoding. Yes. Encoding simply the simple way of saying that uh, or describing encoding, it is putting your thoughts into a language that can be understood by the receiver. Now that is the context of communication. Okay. Yeah, in the context of communication. In other contexts, it might have a different meaning. But as far as communication is concerned, encoding is putting your thoughts as a sender into a, into a message that can be understood by it the receiver. Anybody else with a question before I proceed? Renal Kular, good afternoon. Renal Kular, can you hear me? So that's how it is. Eh? So we proceed. We proceed. Let me share my screen. So we've talked about elements of communication. Let's look at features of communication. Number one features of communication is communication is unavoidable. Features of communication. Communication is unavoidable. 
even when you say I'm not going to communicate today. Na unyamaze, kunyamaza kwenyewe you are communicating. Even when you say I'm not going to talk today, the way you umevangu, inaongea tukukumu. Vile unakati, inaongea tukukumu. So communication is unavoidable, unavoidable completely. Even when you say I'm not going to show myself to people. By not showing yourself to people, it communicates a lot. So one cannot avoid communication, even when you choose not to speak. We still communicate through our silence. We still communicate through our facial expression. We still communicate through our gestures. Even the way we dress, it, we communicate. We communicate to people who are around us. Even time communicates. Eh? So communication, again, another feature of communication, it is irreversible. Whatever you say with your mouth, you cannot reverse it. If you tell someone you are the biggest goat that ever lived, you cannot take back your words. You have just said it. The only thing that is remaining is for you to say or to apologize for, the, for whatever you said. So communication is irreversible and communication is strategic. It is strategic because we communicate when we want to do something. Like when you are faced with a problem of signing your register, you will communicate and ask how it is done. Huh? Like whatever we are doing right now, we are learning communication skills. So I'm communicating to you. So I, it is strategic, communication is strategic. Communication also, it is a process. It is a process. We have gone through the process of communication and through the elements of communication. And you have seen it is a process. But it happens so fast such that you cannot realize that it is a process. So communication is a process and so on and so forth. So you will read on communication models is Otajisomea because we have Shannon and Weaver. We have looked at Shannon and Weaver's model. Kawale Hawajui. Let me show you again, Shannon and Weaver model. And if you Google, you will find it. This is Shannon and Weaver's model. Kiingi eh? utaipata, ikona sender, encoder, channel, decoder, receiver, noise. This is Shannon and Weaver's model. So there are various models of communication from various scholars or from various academicians or from various philosophers or from various who, from various uh, scholars. Eh? So we go back to our topic one notes. So you will read on the various uh, models of communication, like we have Shannon and Weaver model. We have, uh, it is here, Shannon and Weaver model is here, sender, channel, message, and then we have decoder. Anyway, then we also have what? Shram's model, eh? you will read on Shram's model. And then uh, that is it, that is it. This was in Guinea, Then there is what we call types of communication. I think I'll touch on types of communication. And there are only three types of communication. So type of communication number one, we have intrapersonal communication. And intrapersonal communication is communication that happens within yourself. Sometimes you have an argument between your, within yourself. Maybe you're asking yourself, can I join? Should I go to that class? Eh? You are having a discussion within yourself. You are the sender and you are the receiver of the information. Eh? You are unajuriza maswali na So we can read and we can, you can actually see that this is communication that occurs within us. It involves thoughts or thinking. It involves feelings and the way a person look at, looks and himself. Eh? So it is centered in the self. So you are the only sender and you are the only receiver. And the channel is your brain. We also have interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication is communication between one individual and many other, and many other. Between one individual and many other, or 
more than two individuals. Then we have small group communication. Uh, it's a communication that happens within a very small group. And then we call it a date. Then you can look at the importance of communication. So tutaachi hapo kwa leo. Ndiyo ni wape time muende mfanya hizo activities abazo zina wangoja. Any question? Now before I stop there, there are some things that I need to tell you. Number one is that you'll be taking your own register and there are some activities that you need to do. Let me show you, let me show you. We start by activities. Eh? Now we start by the register. This is how you are going to sign your register. Be very careful. Sababu mimi staki kusumbuliwa kutoka hapa. This is how you are going to sign your register. Let me share my screen. Now there is attendance there. I want you to be very careful. There is an attendance register there. So you will click on the attendance register. Once you click on the attendance register, of course, I have taken the register for the first week, which was 7 September 2021. And I've given all of you absent because nobody came for that class. Already Nini Watemlikua absent that particular day. That is 7th September 2021. All of you are absent and you can see you are absent. So uh, it is already ticked. Eh? So today is 14 September. So when you get to the register, you will click on your register. And then you will you will write, I mean, you will your name will appear there. Once your name appears there, then it will ask you for a code. So for today's code, that is the today's code, SWJK42. SWJK42. SWJK that is the code. Let me highlight it. That is the code. I'm also sharing that code on WhatsApp. While it took WhatsApp already, I have shared the code for you. So that will be your what? Your password for the register. So once you're done with everything, you can go and do what? Tick your register using that code. Once you tick your register, that is it. Evo to. Tapata jinako, uki click your register on your side, it will ask you for the code. So you will give it that code that I've already shared on WhatsApp, SWJK42. And then you will do what? You will, you will, uh, you will have taken your register. Then from there, we go back. We go back to the course. So the register, you'll be taking it uh, at the end of the lesson because at the end of the lesson is when I'll be giving you the code to do the uh, to, 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 to sign your register. Why? Because you are so many. Number two, I can't take it for you, for every individual. Eh? Number two is that uh, there is a disc, uh, there are some notes there. Today's notes, I've already opened them. You can uh, you can download your notes there. It is written topic one, introduction to communication skills notes. So if you click on it to start downloading, for example, let me click it. You can see it is downloading already. It has already downloaded. Then from there, there is a discussion forum for you. The remaining time, you have a discussion forum there. So let me unleash the discussion forum. So from your end, you can see the discussion forum. So what you do, you will click on the discussion forum. Once you click on the discussion forum, you will click on my name, 14th September there. Then after clicking on 14th September, my name, then you will come to reply. You can see it says, discuss the best practices of communication and why 
there is need to have better communication in the organization, then you will start typing. You type, 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 type. After typing, then you post to forum. You post to forum. That way, you will have engaged in a discussion forum. Question. Apart from that, after finishing the discussion forum, there is a quiz there, the last quiz. It is even given a date, 14th 9th, 2021. So, you quiz, and then you preview the quiz. After previewing the quiz, you will do the quiz. It says, discuss the importance of communication in your profession. So, if you are a CHTM, what is the importance of communication in uh, your profession as a hospitality student? What is the importance of communication as a certificate in journalism student? You write. Once you write down, you can even download. You can write on a Word document and you do what? You upload it. Then you choose a file. Then you do what? You upload your document and then you do what? You send. It upload document. topic one. You do that. And then you upload the file then you can say, I have finished my cut. Eh? Something, or you can opt to type. Uneza amua ku type. Ama uneza ifanyia kwa document, what document, ama PDF, and then you come down here, then you upload as a file. So that is it, unless there is a question. Sure. Chiko yes. kwa group ya WhatsApp. At what? Neza join the group here, WhatsApp. I've already, share, I've already shared a link there. I already um, shared a link there. Or oh, you want me to share there. the link again? Yes. Excuse Can you repeat the old process from the, from the attendance? Can you repeat the whole process from the attenders? So can somebody share that link? I'm trying, let me, let me copy it. Eh? So I've already shared the link. The link is there. That link is for joining the WhatsApp. So you are saying what, Joy? Who is that? Is it Brandon? Nani anasema nini? Uh, I was saying, can you repeat the whole process from the attendance? From the attendance. I'm going uh, very fast because your time is. class in I'm also looking at the time that you'll be doing those activities. Eh? Now let me go to my. Let me go back. I'm repeating the same thing from the attendance. So uh, you have to go to the attendance. You click on the attendance. Of course, it will not show you like it is showing me. Of course, I've seen some people have already started ticking the, the attendance. That is why it is screening. So it is not going to show you the way it is showing me. You will just click on the attendance. Then it will ask you for a password. And the password is this one for the attendance. S W S W what? JK42. I've also shared it on WhatsApp, that password. So it will not show you this. It will ask, it will just show you your name and then it will ask you for the password. Once you tick, you put the password and you say, okay, the attendance will be taken automatically. So it's as simple as that. Yes. What if you do a mistake and you, you press absent and you are present? 
Sasa hiyo ni shida yako kijana. You can still redo it. You can still redo it if I'm not wrong. You can still go back and mark yourself present. How? Now uh, we go then to to what we call a discussion forum. Eh? That person. So you click on the discussion forum. If at all it's a discussion forum, you will click on David Minus. Unona ina jihairaiti enye. Ikona hyperlink. You click on 14th September there, and then you do what? You come to reply because this is the question. You reply. Replying, you write what? You write whatever the question is telling you, and then you post to the forum. As simple as that. That is discussion forum. Apart from the discussion forum, there is also the quiz there. The quiz, you click on the quiz, then you, you are uh, already, I can see people, two people have started attempting. So you, there is attempt. Eh? Once you attempt, you are going to find, discuss the importance of communication in your, then you attempt the quiz or you can write it down on a Word document or on a PDF, on a PDF, then you upload it. Once you click here, it is telling you to choose the file that you're going to upload. And then once you upload the file, you send. That way you have done your quiz and your assignment and your discussion forum. Hope that one is well understood. From the look of things, uh, when I go to the register right now, attendance, I can see that people have already started doing what? Picking their attendance. So if I click here, Ninaona tayari mtu anaitwa Anyango Odhiambo amesha tick register Benson Mwangi amesha tick register Gatiba Daniel and Givenya Steve also Irungu Weru huh? huyu ametik uh, yeah huyu ametik absent huyu amejitika absent anaitwa Kevin Gaina <laughs> Kevin why are you the one asking about absent Yes, yes, I was the one asking. Tick present. So I've ticked you present. You can see uh, my inner Esther has already ticked present and so on and so forth. So you may tick present with you and Nawasiwasi. You don't have to go back. So save the attendance. So already those people have done their attendance. It's not a difficult thing to do. Unless there is a question me, I will stop there and allow you to do the activities that I've left. For the recording, the recording will be put there. Most probably, Gioni, I'm a recording. Because if uh, the meeting is over, it means that I'll have to give, to give it time to do what we call, is it uh, to convert. Once it converts, I have to upload it on YouTube and then I share the link. So that you can get the recording. So it's like a process. Eh? So you have to wait. Katana Hussein, you have a question? Or you are trying yes. to. Yes. I, have a question. I cannot mark my register on my side. How? I don't know. I'm seeing it. In fact, I'm seeing it's marked absent. It cannot. It is you who did that. No. Katana Hussein, that one. It cannot be marked who marked up, the, which one? There is one for 7th September and 14th September. If you are marking for 7th September, it is already absent. All of you are absent. If you are marking for 14th September, then it is okay. Ile ambo ime makiwa absent ni wiki ya kwanza ya tarehe saba. Ii wiki tuko ni wiki ya tarehe kuminane, 14th September. Hiyo ndiyo unajitikia present ama absent. Ukijitika and what's, what's absent? The yes. The passcode. The passcode, I've shared it on WhatsApp and I've shared it in this forum. Are you in, are you in WhatsApp? Yeah I've, yeah, I've seen the, I've seen it. Yes. Any other question before we, we finish this class? Because I need to give you time to do those activities. Any other question? Okay. 
Excuse me. Brandon, yes. Uh, can I be marked present? Because I've tried and you may cut up. My friend, you want me to go through the 69 people and look for you? <laughs> huh? uh, please. No, that one will not happen. I do, I, even you joined without your registration number on. How do I mark you present? Huh? Brandon, you are a joker. You are a joker in a way. You may join na Gina Moja. How are you not to join na Gina na registration number? How will you be marked present? So uh, let's go and do the activities kindly. Let's go and do those activities. Yes, sir. Let's go and do those activities and then we call it a day. We meet next time. Yes, sir. Wait. I have a question. Rather fun. Thank you. 